there was the government, there was a company called Bear Stearns, and as Mr. Diamond, to his immense res uh, regret, says, J.P. Morgan came to the rescue. Where's the Swiss government, and where's the J.P. Morgan in this discussion of Credit Suisse? Well, you have to think that the competitors are looking at the share price and, and asking the question of, of when does this make sense a, as an acquisition target. But, you know, if you're Credit Suisse, you made the point you don't want to um, sell shares at, at this kind of level. Uh, so I think you have seen some ideas floated out there of uh, could we bring in some capital in a different way, in a more creative way, to allow for what will likely be a fairly dramatic restructuring uh, of the investment bank and uh, how do we fund that? And so this seems to be one possibility uh, is this idea of a spinoff. And, you know, Credit Suisse has had a long-running banking franchise. The big question is, um, does that brand name or even a new bringing back the first Boston brand name help? Or has it lost too much talent to attract an investor? Michael, I want to talk about the urgency because we'd heard about a turnaround plan that would be announced at the end of the month. Does it have to be yeah. within the next week? Week because you are hearing, and Bloomberg has reported, of certain clients pulling back in some of their use of Credit Suisse, of more departures from the talent that they have. How much is this being expedited by the reaction in markets? So I think, you know, there, there has been that chatter out there. I think the company would like to stick to the, you know, date it put out there of third quarter earnings, October 27th, coming out with a robust plan. Uh, I think they don't want to rush something. Uh, but there is that, you know, market speculation out there. You've seen the shares up right. and down quite a bit this week. Uh, but, you know, they, the company keeps pointing to the fact that they have over $200 billion in liquid assets. So there is not the same fear that we've seen in past cycles about liquidity. Okay, Michael, you've got encyclopedic knowledge of this. Is this discussion being driven by the board? Is it being driven by the chief executive officer? The chairman? By who? By the Swiss government? Who's, who's driving the car right now for Credit Suisse? I think you've got a, a few parties, and we've we've reported in the past that you know the board has somewhat been split on how dramatic to be on the investment bank. Uh, I think they're they've gone through the process of coming to a consensus. They have uh, assigned a special committee of the board to look at the future of the investment bank and how big it needs to be. Michael Klein is a major player there. He's obviously a longtime investment banker. Blythe Masters, another name that uh, is involved there. Christian Meisner on the the executive side. Uh, so you have a, a number of experienced voices in the room, uh, but I think, you know, you're also seeing that there are a lot of, um, you know, opinions here, and uh, I think the Swiss government probably has its own view.